sync them up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the last day of the Slovenian trip. Got some fun in store today. We're heading to bear countries. Whoop ah! <laughs> this could be fun. All right, Martin's got a joke. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is the last day of the Slovenia trip with Canary Motor Tours Slovenia. Today, we have got a little break in the weather and it looks like down south, there isn't any rain. So, we are heading south down to the border with Croatia. Because of a lovely COVID, there are some uh, implications involved in crossing the border and it could get a little bit complicated, so we're just not bothering today. We've done it a couple of times already, but today we're not going to bother crossing the border. We're heading down to Bear Country, because apparently that part of Slovenia is renowned for the brown bear population. Apparently there's some cracking roads following the border on the Slovenian side and the Croatian side, but we're sticking in Slovenia. I'll see you in a bit and we'll have a coffee stop. <laughs> Big stone. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for you to fall in. Can you jump the brook? That's what I used to do when I was a used to play jump the brook. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. <laughs> There's to be a Christmas tree on top of a pole. Well, folks, we have just had a quick cup of coffee and are now continuing south down into Bear Country. Been lucky with the weather so far. A little bit drich, wee bit drizzle, but otherwise not too bad. A bit cooler today, 17 degrees. And as I say that, the rain starts again. I do like this Africa Twin now, I'm getting used to this. Lovely angry engine to it. Lacks quite a bit up top though, but um, low down grunt's not bad. The GS will pee all over it, I've got to admit, but sounds amazing. A twin engine. don't like about this Africa Twin and I know you can adjust the settings but this is currently on the traction control setting 6 I think it is. I'm not sure how many they are but I know it's it's at 6 at the moment and it's really intrusive. You feel it kicking in all the time. There's things like earlier we were coming into a little village and I was trail braking on the front to go around this tight right hander and I went over a manhole cover which in the wet is mega slippy so obviously straight away the old uh, abs kicks in it releases the the brake because the front's lost traction but it releases it for too long there's a real delay on it so i drift across onto the other side of the road it's probably only like half a second but i'm pulling on the front brake and nothing's happening sometimes these gadgets this is where i'm going to crash it should keep my mouth shut something i like about the the new 1250 gs sorry to bring the gs in but it is a an important factor here they now have this function where if you're applying the brakes but you still keep the throttle on you know sometimes you reach for the throttle and like in an emergency stop type situation well on the new 1250s they automatically cut the throttle so if you apply sudden brakes it'll just cut the throttle which is a damn good thing from someone that uh, has had to grab the front brakes a couple of times on the old 1200s. <laughs> oh, I've only got a t-shirt on under this jacket and everything's still wet from yesterday. And all next week, it's due to be in the high 20s and into the 30s. Literally, the day I leave, I think Thursday, tomorrow, it all changes and it goes back to being gorgeous sunshine. <laughs> what awesome roads, eh? Heading down into bear country. <laughs> Yeah. 
Fool bugger. There's two of them. Folks, apparently these bears are really old and they can't put them back in the wild because they'll just get mullered by the younger ones. And these are the ones they've got all round here. Is 800 of them? 800. Blimey. All the, all the, all the forest we're riding through. Wow. All over the place. Oh. Right, Martin's got a joke. This guy walks into the pub with a box. Boom. And she says, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an 18, sir. On the road again. Come on, Dickie Vegas, where are you? Sing to me, baby. Sing. Oh, 16 degrees and I'm Baltic. I've got soft. I have a hole in my right sock and my big toe is poked right through it. Oh, it's infuriating. It's just put me in a really bad mood. I felt my big toe go through it early this morning on the bike and that's it, I've just had a cob on ever since. We stopped a wee while ago there to see these bears. This whole area is, is inhabited by wild bears, but brown bears, and they've got a couple of old male brown bears in these cages next to the petrol station back there. And they're kept in the cages, they're not released because apparently, because they're old, if they were released into the wild, the younger males would attack them and they wouldn't last two minutes. So they're, they're kept in captivity, but oh, it's, it's so sad to see them. You know, they're just pacing around, obviously not happy. They're just pacing up and down in these tiny wee cages. It's horrible. Part of me wants to see wild bear, and the other part of me <laughs> realizes that it probably wouldn't go too well. <laughs> All right, folks, we're just overlooking over there, out there in the soup. That is Croatia. We're right at the border with Croatia now. As you can see, we can't really see too much. <laughs> I'm bloody freezing. I have got to invest in warm weather kit. But um, roads are amazing, but uh, a bit slippy, but a lot of fun. Well, folks, we just come down the uh, hill, and if we turned right, that took us to the border with Croatia. So instead, we turned left. And we're now heading along the border, basically. We're just going to follow the border. And the border of Croatia is to our right, basically just over there. And we're just following this road back um, east, I think we're going. So that there is the border. And on the other side, is Croatia. And you see the border on the, the right, on the razor wire. And that is all she wrote folks. I'm afraid the rain got the better of the GoPros finally. They just froze shortly after this so we lost the rest of the day but it rained heavily and we just headed back to the base at Brestanica where I got some lovely drone footage which I'll leave you with now. A big thanks to channel sponsor Canary Motorcycle Tours once again for taking me along with them to Slovenia. If you fancy checking out their Slovenia, Croatia, Austria, Italy trips, then head to their website canarymotorcycletours.com, link down in the description, and please do let them know Teapot One sent you. Can't recommend it enough folks, it's a beautiful part of the world, it's got access to so many different places right there from their base in Slovenia. I'll be heading back this year, hope to see you there. Lots more to come, I've still got the Switzerland tour from last year to come. Hiya! Hiya! The top of Stelvio folks. And the latest clan meetup where we got washed out in the Lake District. We're going swimming. All right, folks, keep doing your thing. Look after those that you love. But most importantly, most importantly, live your life. <coughs> Sorry if I sound croaky. I've got COVID. <coughs> Sorry. I've got, I've got the vid. The vid got me. Sorry. If I survive, I'll see you in the next one.